Hey Jesters, welcome back to me, Shoshana. So today I'm going to be answering questions about my favorite YouTubers. So let's get started. Okay, so I asked you guys, or some of you guys, to ask me questions on my fan page, My Heart's Run Runs, because that's where I ask the most, because that's where I feel like I get the most, you know, attention and stuff. And it's M-Y-H-R-T-S. R O N R O N S. Anyway, I'm just really thinking grateful that you guys asked me after I asked you guys um, to ask me questions. I'm really happy you guys asked me some. So, yeah, let's just go into it. And I'm really excited to do this because I love talking about my favorite YouTubers. So, yeah. Okay, let's just get on into it. Okay, first question. And I'm not going to say who they're by just in case they don't want their usernames to be exposed. Okay, right, first one. Favorite video from KJ? Ooh, that's a great question. They have so many videos, I can't even remember them all. And I haven't even seen them all, to be honest. I've seen most of them, but I haven't seen all of them. Um, but my favorite KJ videos, one of my favorites, are obviously, I love the KJ 24 hour race. That one's one of my favorites. I also love the one where they do the, um, what is it called? Where they do the um, trying to find their way home with no phone. Love that one. Um, it's like the three part series. Um, well, I love the freezer one. That one's really funny with Corey. Like, Corey's so funny in it. He's like drunk, of course, and he's annoying in it, but he's hilarious. Um, so I love the freezer one. Like, you can get out of the freezer or like, the last one in the freezer wins, blah, 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 how much money. Um, hmm. Oh, I love the one they did with Franny. That one was hilarious too. Um, the trying beauty products. Or testing out beauty products whatever um that one was really funny oh the etiquette class one i love that one the etiquette class one that one is really good yeah probably those ones i mean i like the recent ones too but those are probably my top okay next one name three of your dream collabs within your list okay so the list i put down i remember them um my three collabs dream collabs would be one, the Merrill Twins and the Sterney Ola Triplets. Definitely. The second one, well, I don't know if this is order, but these are just the three. Next one is KJ and the Sterney Ola Triplets. Because I'm obsessed with um, the Sterney Ola Triplets right now, if you guys didn't know this. Like, I love them. I've been watching them, like, all night. But KJ and the Sterney Ola Triplets are literally the two funniest YouTube channels. Like, YouTubers in general, YouTube obsessed, whatever you want to call it. They're literally so hilarious. Them doing a collab would literally like make me die of laughter. Like it would be the funniest thing ever. Like I'm not even joking with you when I say that. So those two and then probably the third one. Hmm. I don't know what I want for the third one. Hmm. I'm trying to think. What would I want for a third one? I do want the Merrill Twins to collab again with Franny and Neza, so maybe that. Yeah, I really do want that again. Even though they've already done that. I don't know like a new collab I'd want. I'm trying to think of like a new one. I also really want Colleen and Rosanna to collab again. Rosanna Pensino. I'm gonna... Okay, whatever. Um, so yeah, I want that again. Anyway, okay, let's get into the next one. Okay, are you a Mac, Chris, or Nick girl? And by the way, this is a Sterniola trip, if you guys didn't know. Um, I'm a Mac girl. But here's the thing, the only reason why I'm not a Nick girl, I like Nick the best, I would say he's my favorite, but I relate the most to Matt, I feel, that's why I say I'm a Matt girl, but the thing with this is, I like Nick the best because he's the funniest, I feel, in my opinion, and so I just like him, but he's gay, so, you know, I can't really go for him, so that's why I'm a Matt girl, but I do relate to Matt a lot. Cause he like seems like he's the most shy. I don't really know if he is, but I'm really shy, so I can relate to that and just I don't know some other things. Oh my God, I see a helicopter outside. <laughs> I'm getting distracted by a helicopter. <laughs> I feel like I'm turning to Nick because he always gets distracted. And like I didn't do that on purpose, so I literally did not do that on purpose. I just saw one outside and I got distracted. But then it reminded me that Nick always gets distracted when there's like cars and people outside when they're filming in the um, car videos in the parking lot of the McDonald's. Anyway, next one. 
What's your favorite thing about Eliana? Hmm. And if you don't know who Eliana is, Eliana Wamsley. Um, any of the people I'm mentioning right now, you guys definitely need to go subscribe to them all. They're literally the best. Just search them up, any of the people I'm mentioning. I'm not gonna put their links to them all, but if you search them up, you'll find them right away. Because they're all really big and famous. Uh, or like big and like no. I don't know if you want to call them famous, but anyway. My favorite thing about Eliana, I like how like sweet and nice she is. Yeah, I like that. Okay, next one. Which of these YouTubers have you watched the longest? Ooh, that's a good one. Probably like the Merrill Twins, Colleen Ballinger. Yeah, probably the Merrill Twins and Colleen Ballinger. I would say out of the whole list. Yeah, because there's a lot of YouTubers I used to watch that I don't watch anymore. So yeah, probably those ones. Yeah. Oh my god, there's a bird in there. I'm really getting distracted. I need to stop looking outside. Okay. Did any of these YouTubers inspire you to do YouTube? If so, who? Um, I don't know if any of them like inspired me to do YouTube per se, but they do inspire me on a daily basis. Like, well, not on a daily basis, but like they do inspire me here and there to like do certain type of videos. Like the Merrill Twins has inspired me one time to do like a um, AI controls your day video and like some other videos, I can't really remember all of them, but like there's other videos that other YouTubers have inspired me to do. So in the Sterniolo, Sterniolo triplets have been inspiring me to do like more like not ASMR videos and like, you know, more videos like this, like sit down videos. I don't know. So it's just stuff like that. But I don't know who inspired me actually to do YouTube. I think it's just, I think it's because yeah, anyway, I'm not going to get into it. It doesn't matter. It's not YouTubers, but yeah. I think it was my sister and my cousin because they had a YouTube channel and then I was really nervous and I didn't want to, you know, anybody hear my voice? I don't know. So I'd never talk and it would just be awkward. And then one day I was like, oh, maybe I should do it. And my sister was like, yeah, you should. Anyway, but anyway, that's besides the point. Okay, next one. If you could meet only one of these YouTubers, who would you meet, want to meet and why? Ooh, that's a great question. I'd probably say Aaron Burris. No, I would say the Merrill Twins. But with that being said, you could only meet one. And it's not a channel, so that means I would meet Ronnie. But if I meet Ronnie, I would all I would be meeting Aaron because they're always together. Or if it wasn't Aaron, it would be Nessa because she's either with Nessa or she's either with Aaron. She's never usually doing things alone. So that would be very rare for me to just see her. You know what I mean? So I would, I would get to meet, or both of them. Sometimes they're all together. So that'd be even better. So technically, I'd be meeting one, but meeting like three or four at a time. So yeah, that's that. But yeah, I would also say this during the trip, so I really want to meet them too. But with that being said, oh, also, I didn't mention this in the beginning because I forgot to mention it. But if you guys stay to the end of the video, I'm going to be telling you guys a dream story time as well. Sorry, I forgot to mention that in the beginning. Um, anyway. So stay to the end of the video. It's a dream story time about the Sternial Triplets. I just had this dream last night. One of them in this video. <laughs> now when you guys see it. Anyway. So yeah, I really love to meet the Sternial Triplets. But I just feel like, I don't know what it is with them. But I feel like extremely shy to meet them. Like I'm shy to meet like all my favorite YouTubers. But like them, I feel like I'm so shy. Like I can never actually do it. I don't know why. They just, ugh. They just give me that like nervous vibes i don't know maybe it's just because they're teen boys and like teen boys kind of make them more nervous i don't know or like young boys i don't know i don't know what it is but anyway next one who's younger maisie or wesley and if you don't know who maisie or wesley are they're colleen's twin babies twin son and daughter um i don't know who's younger i think maisie's younger yeah i'm pretty sure maisie's younger i don't know though okay I should know that I answered that because she said that before, but I don't know. Okay, next one. If you had the chance to meet the triplets, what would you say to them? Like I said before, I'd be very shy to meet them, so I probably wouldn't say much at all. I'd probably just say hi and hug them, but I probably wouldn't say like anything else. But if I could and I wasn't shy, this is what I would say to them. I'd say hi. Well, of course, I'd say hi first, and then I would probably say how are you, blah blah. blah. And then I'd probably say like I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for making me so happy. I love your videos all best jazz probably just tell them how much they mean to me and how i love them and probably tell them like how i found them or i don't know maybe not how i found them but i would just yeah tell them that okay next question who is your favorite ch child slash teen in the ballinger family and why 
Did they have a child and teen in the Ballinger family? Ooh, um, probably Parker. Just because I feel like Parker has the most energy and like is the most entertaining in that type of way. And he does like gymnastics and stuff. But I like all of them. Um, like Luke is so cute. I love Luke because Luke is seriously like the cutest. Same with Teddy. And I like Bailey too. I just feel like Bailey is an enemy in the videos. But I understand why. She's getting older and she just, you know, I understand it. But anyway. Okay. Last one. Pick one fave out of all the lists. Pick one fave out of the listed YouTubers. Oh, okay. So out of my list that I listed. Um, one favorite. Mm, probably Aaron. I know you said you can only pick one, but... That's hard. Cause I'd probably say Aaron because I love Ron Ron so much. They're like my favorite. And I really want to meet them. Like I would like die. Like those are my that's like my top. I want to meet even though that was a, like a older um question. But anyway, um yeah, probably Aaron just because it's like Ron Ron too, because like there's barely any videos that Aaron ever does without Ronnie. So yeah, probably that. But I would also love the triplets. Like if I could only watch one. Right now, I'll see the triplets just because I'm like really into them and I just found them recently. So, like, I'm like watching all their videos, really obsessed with them right now. But overall, I'll probably say Aaron just because, like, I feel like I'm not gonna be into the triplets, like, be as obsessed forever. But maybe I will because I'm like really into them, like, really. And I feel a different connection than I have with the other YouTubers that I, like, I was really into. So, I don't know. I really don't know. But yeah, that's that. Okay. Now we're going to get into my story time about my dream, um, about this journey on Chevrolet. So if you guys stay to the end, hallelujah, you're here and you got to hear it. Okay, so I'm like not surprised that I dreamed about them because I've been watching them, like I said, I'm obsessed with them ever since I started watching them, which was April 24th now, so it hasn't even been that long. Um, and so like, I don't know. I've just been like really into well one thing that hasn't been that long but when you see this it'll be quite a while since I watched it maybe like more than a month I think um anyway and I wrote it down here in my notes that's why I have my phone because I don't totally remember it but anyway so yeah anyway so it kind of makes sense that I dreamed about them but anyway so the dream is that I don't totally remember my dreams so this one isn't like totally like goes in sync or whatever but it doesn't matter I'm just gonna get into it so basically I was in a hotel. I don't know where I was going. I don't know why I was in the hotel, but I was in a hotel with the journey on the triplets. I don't know if it's the room that we shared. I don't know if it's my room, their room, who knows, but I was in a hotel room with the journey on the triplets. And I was looking out the window and for some reason, I don't know why. And I was telling them how much I love them and how much the videos mean to me and how they made me laugh and it made them really happy. And they were really happy to hear that. So that's good. And then oh, I told them that I DM'd them some video ideas and I wanted them to check it out. Okay, so that's that. And then r randomly, don't know why, because my dream didn't make sense. Anyway, then another part of the dream, I was in a theater and I went with one of my friends. I don't know who, don't know which person it was, but one of my really close friends. Boy, in the dream I had a friend. We went to the movie theater together, or in the theater with the triplets and a whole bunch of other people too that I was with that also we all wanted to surprise the triplets with seeing their movie so we didn't tell them because in this dream they had a movie yes I really wish they actually had a movie but anyway that's besides the point so they had a movie in the in the dream and we went to see it It was in 3d and we didn't tell them about it and I sat in between Matt and my friend right and um we went to see the movie anyway so the movie was starting and when the movie was starting I looked at Matt but I don't remember his reaction, I don't remember anything. I just looked at him to see his reaction, but I don't remember what his reaction was. I remember anything like that. And then the movie started, water started spraying at us. Because it was like a 3D movie. But it was like a ride. You know when you go on uh, one of those like simulator rides? It was like that. Anyway, so we were sitting in our little seats and we were moving around. Doing to like the movie, right? And stuff like that. And then Matt and Chris. Or no, not Matt and Chris. Chris and Nick were like two rows below us like in a different section kind of but still in the same theater of course anyway so they were with other people and then randomly in the middle of the movie this girl comes out 
who like works at the theater or whatever and starts like doing an announcement of this girl, Emma, we weren't invited to her birthday. So she had a birthday in our theater that we ran. And anyway, she's like, they say, oh, happy birthday, Emma, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so that's that. And that was really weird. So that's the dream. And then I kind of, nothing else has happened in the dream. So that was kind of a weird dream. But yeah, so I really wish that was a real dream. That'd be so cool. And the reason why I was like that is because he's my favorite. Anyway, so that's, or he's like, not my favorite, because he said Nick's my favorite, but he, um, like a mad girl. I mean, you would say like Matt and Nick are kind of like tied for my favorite. I thought that I hate Chris. I like them all equally, kind of. Well, not equally, but I like them all, but I like Matt and Chris. I mean, Matt and Nick a little bit more. And I think I like Matt, but I don't know. But yeah, anyway, so that's that. If you guys enjoyed this video, give a big thumbs up. Comment down below um, more video ideas. And just who you guys are favorite YouTubers are. And if you are, if you do watch this journey on the trip, let's comment. If you're a Matt girl, a Nick girl, or a Chris girl. I want to know. And yeah, I love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you guys next time. Subscribe to this face. Bye bye, sisters.